Jenny Stan. I felt the need to make this video and to speak about this. She's so cute. And I do know that. <laughs> Bitch, not him solo. Jenny even received a lot of negative and hateful comments when it was confirmed that Jenny and Pi were dating back in January of 2000. <laughs> oh my god. She got hate for dating. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> K-pop stands and people basically promised to think twice before saying something and to try- <laughs> Okay, this makes me laugh because nothing has changed. Some you, you can be the strongest person in the world, but after a while, if it's continuous negativity and hatred g getting thrown towards you, and it's really for no reason, it's going to start affect you. And I feel like Jenny- tries to make it seem like it's not affecting her or that she's like above it all but at the end of the day she's human it's just like damn why are the members of blackpink just always getting mistreated i see these type of video Ooh. My camera's about to die. And we're back. Yeah, so as I was saying before my c camera decided to be a bitch, the members of Blackpink are always getting the shit under the stick, which is ridiculous because they're in one of the top, like one of the richest, one of the biggest, one of the most name brand companies. YG is in the big three. So wouldn't you think since he's like a top dog, he'd be able to manage his groups? better it's like every other day i see a different jenny isn't doing well rose um someone save rose jisoo is not happy lisa deserves better we just reacted to the lisa deserves better and basically that entire video was talking about how miss lisa was getting um victimized and being attacked because she's thai even k-pop stands who are supposed to be about happiness and positivity and just enjoying music and being lovers of music decide to resort to racism because they can't attack her for her rapping skills they can't attack her for her dancing abilities because they know my bitch Lisa is queen at both of those so they have to obviously come for her race because they're stupid let me stop my name is Jisoo <laughs> my name is Chichu anyways hello my favorite people today we're reacting to Blackpink but more specifically Jenny isn't doing well and this is why. This video came out January 15th and today is January 17th. So this is still fairly new, which means that the topics and stuff that they cover on this will be more current and prominent compared to the older Jenny deserves better or Jenny needs to be saved videos. So I wanna know what the T is as of today. Has anything been improved since the past videos or is it all the same, has it gotten worse? I just wanna know. Cause as we all know, Jenny is perceived to be Sort of like Irene from Red Velvet, she is thought to be like an ice queen, a bitch, someone with no feelings, which we all know is not true at all. Jenny Kim is the sweetest, most lovable, she cares about her members, she's... It's just like you can't judge someone from the outside without actually like taking the time to get to know them. It's just common sense to me. I don't know, but some people obviously don't get it. So I don't want to ramble on. Let's just get into Jenny isn't doing well, and this is why. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here, and don't forget to like the video, because my goal for this video is 500 likes. Lastly, head over to my Instagram and DM me any other video requests, K-pop groups, Blackpink content that you want to see on the channel. Head over to Instagram, DM it to me over there, and I'll do it. Let's get into the video. It's Honestly, it's just baffling. So many factors that should be building this group up but yet they're getting torn down i don't understand where the problem is genuinely <clears throat> shout out to juniverse and i their name sounds familiar so i think they have good content so if y'all want go subscribe to them it's linked in the description Ooh, hwasa jiho wendy rose so far, the intro is promising. 
Hi guys and welcome back to oh. my channel. This video I'm apologizing now. I did not know that it was going to be a robot voice. Sorry. And planned and this is a very last minute video but as a Jenny stan. I felt the need to make this video and to speak about this. She's so and cute. I do know that there are many videos like this out there but I couldn't help myself. Uh -huh. I love Jenny with my whole heart and I wish I could do something more about this situation. I don't know if I'll even end up uploading this but if you're seeing this, it did get up because of how upset I am about the whole situation. What's Let's the situation? Start have probably noticed how much hate Jenny has been getting recently and it has always been a lot yeah. but recently it is getting worse and you can see that it also starts <laughs> to affect her and in a very bad way we obviously like some you, you can be the strongest person in the world but after a while if it's continuous negativity and hatred g getting thrown towards you and it's really for no reason it's gonna start affect you and I feel like Jenny tries to make it seem like it's not affecting her or that she's like above it all but at the end of the day she's human so she, as long as i've even known the name blackpink i've known that jenny is like the the lead ringer of attacking and getting the most negativity so i can only imagine how she actually is dealing with it instead of like how she pers how she the persona that she gives off how is she actually dealing with it and I know she's human, so it has to be hard for her. I don't really know when this all started, but it has been getting more attention after Jenny's lazy scandal. You could uh, obviously see that she did. Jenny is lazy. I remember that era. It was all over YouTube. But, I mean, I don't... You have to give Blackpink a break, because they talk about so often. Even Fifth Harmony has mentioned this whenever they were a group. Um, performing the same songs over and over again, not being able to control what music you put out, not being able to do what you want to do as an artist is just so defeating and it makes you not even really enjoy your passion. So to say Jenny is lazy, we don't know really what's going on behind the scenes because they, they repeatedly say they only get to perform the same songs. It's so boring. It's so like they just want to do something different. So bitch, imagine doing the same choreo every freaking day i'd get sick of that stuff too so i can't blame her for oh here we go again boom by ya bitch get me off the stamp stage and you know it's just you got to cut her some slack understand where she's coming from she is literally living her life in the public eye and doing the same bippity boppity moves that she's always done yeah 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 yeah, yeah. like you know, I wouldn't want to go to the either. energy she had before and her energy has been down after debut, so it wasn't something new, but only now people started to notice it and it went crazy online. Bum, bum, yeah. Maybe she's just burnt out, but to call her lazy is a stretch. Black, pink, in your area. Bing, bada, boom. <laughs> I wish I went to their Irving concert in Texas. Well, first of all, the stage is completely different. In the Japan one that we just saw, they were like on a riser and there were fireworks and it sounded like the crowd was actually into it. And I... Y'all can roast me in the comments, but I'm about to say something that may be triggering to you. Um, and I'm going to come out and say this performance is probably in Korea. And as we all know, the crowds in Korea, it's not like like American crowds. American crowds are hyped the entire performance. Koreans do like fan chants and like try to be respectful about how they cheer. So, I mean, the energy from the crowd to the artist is like... It controls the stage, basically. How the performance goes is based on the energy that the artist is going to receive from the crowd. And uh, most, if if Blackpink is a is a group that has performed all over the world, so they've seen good crowds, they've seen bad crowds. And I'm not gonna say that Korean crowds are bad, but they're not hype, period. So if you're not gonna be hype, the artist isn't gonna be hype. So I don't hear any cheering really um, from this few months ago performance 
and the stage is so not as lively as the other one. I think that was Cheers, I'm not sure. People started hmm. assuming stuff and making up excuses for her. I don't want to make up excuses, but if you ask me, I think she wasn't feeling well and something personal happened for her to act like that. Don't go around calling. I feel like not even just Jenny, though. I feel like all the members are just, they want to try something new. They want to do something new. YG, let them experiment with their music. Let them put out music that they enjoy. And I don't mean just like solos like Rosé does sometimes on YouTube. I mean as a group. Let them just experiment and do what they wanted to do. Because whenever they auditioned for YG, they didn't audition as a group. They auditioned as soloists. You know, as artists themselves. So obviously they have their own style, they have their own taste. It would just be nice to let them explore stuff that they're obviously professionals at now. So. I don't want to say that they're bored, but I feel like they're bored. Lazy because we all know Jenny but that doesn't mean she's lazy. Person and she didn't become an idol if she didn't want to be one. The Show P event, if you follow Blackpink, you know that they attended an event called Show P last year and you could see how bad Jenny was. Jenny hold her mm. stomach and grab to the other members like she couldn't breathe. I'll play yeah, the clip yeah, for you yeah. guys right now. <laughs> Yeah, she might be sick here. I'll give you that. She looks she looks a little rough. And she's holding her stomach. Ooh, bitch. Yeah, this is bad. She looks like she's about to cry or something. As you can see. Ooh. Jenny wasn't feeling well and it hasn't gotten better since then. And Jisoo gave her water? Went on tour. Jenny had to leave the stage because she wasn't feeling well and Rosé had to mention that she wouldn't come back because she didn't feel well. see that something was obviously going on that we didn't know about. I'll play a clip from that interview now. Jenny even received a lot of negative and hateful mm. comments when it was confirmed that Jenny and Pi were dating back in January of 2000. <laughs> oh my god. She got hate for dating? This is... I, Me and my friends were even talking about this. It's just delusional to think that these idols who are, you know, 18 plus, 24 plus, almost pushing 30 years old, some of them are even over 30, are virgins or have never had sex with anyone or have never taken a, a fan to, you know, and the news that the, I don't know his name, but the guy from EXO, I think his name is Che or something, got a girl pregnant and he's about to marry her. And people were shocked, like, oh, what do you... They're human beings, too. Of course they're out here. BTS even has, I think, a contract or, like, a non-disclosure um, pact with Dispatch. So, I just don't get it. You know, um, Jiho and 
what the heck is that guy's i don't remember whoever she's dating they were praised momo and hichol they were praised but jenny and kai get hate i feel like it's just selective who k-pop fans are very selective about who they want to support and who they want to tear down and if you're on the end where they want to tear you down, they're coming at you full force. And usually it has no reason behind it. That's what I've really just... That's just really with people in general, though. You can't... Everyone's not going to like you. Everyone's not going to be a fan of you. They're going to have their own agenda. They may be using you or they might genuinely love you. You just have to be very in tune with who you are, know yourself, love yourself. Because at the end of the day, what everyone else says about you does not matter. And I feel like that's one of the main reasons Jenny is still able to even work in this industry because there are some people in her position who if they got half the hate that she's gotten her whole career would have quit, would have, some, you know, they just would not be able to handle it. So I commend her. Now, I, I don't even want to... He's about to talk about um, Kai and Jenny getting hate for their relationship and really all I have to say about that is shut the fuck up. 19. The first appearance Blackpink made after the dating news was a big step for Jenny. You could see it on her face that she wanted to cry probably because of how nervous she was after all that happened. More things have happened to Jenny and she gets constantly hated on and my question is, what did she ever do to you? Why do you need to send hate to her? Can't you see how bad it makes her feel? She even gets emotional when she sees people support her now because of how she's so used to getting a lot of hate. Yeah, I've seen this. And doesn't, like, um, Rose come hug her? Singing Jenny. <laughs> oh, no! No! They're all singing! <laughs> Bitch, not him solo. You can't tell me that she has a cold personality because I don't believe that. It Even okay, I'm gonna go back to the, like people saying that she's late. This battery's about to die too. Let me hurry up and say this. People are saying she's lazy, but even on that solo choreography that she just didn't, she wasn't going overboard with the, the moves. She was just doing them. So maybe that's just her style of dancing. I'll be right back. Both my batteries are dead. What the heck? We're back, but my battery still is not fully charged, so we're just gonna have to, like, speed this up. Sorry. Alright, let's... Let's go. Doesn't give you a reason to make hateful comments. Because when a guy has a cold image, it's hot, but when a girl like Jenny, for example, can come off as cold, she's she is bitch. being called rude and more disrespectful names. Yesterday, the hashtag, Jenny deserves better, was trending on Twitter again, and this time mm -hmm. it was about this Samsung event. So I tried my best to look up everything that happened, and here's what I found. The host of yesterday's event ignored Jenny at all cost. A Jenny anti got to hug Rosa, and the worst of all, she was forced to read hateful comments. So Blackpink was asked to read comments for this one part of the event and Jenny's comments were most all hateful ones. Even Rosé noticed it and found a comment saying, Jenny I love you, and read it out loud to her. Jenny I love you. After that, you could see how Jenny tried to hold her tears in. It looked like she could cry at any moment. That's K-pop fans for you. You know how mental health has been a pretty big issue and topic in the K-pop industry. After the passing of idols last year, K-pop stands and people basically promised to think twice before saying something and to try... Okay, this makes me laugh, because nothing has changed. Stop the hate, but that promise isn't going anywhere. You can see how much this affects Jenny. We need to stop this hate as fast as possible, because it's getting out of hand now. 
I'm ending the talk right here. I just hope that I could inform you guys and to make you realize how much words can hurt and to please think twice before saying something that might be negative that it could hurt someone's feelings. I know that in Korea now. It's her birthday and I just want to wish her the best mm. birthday. And it was I her birthday she has last the best week. Day with lots of love and positivity because that's what she deserves. For the end of this video, I wanted to end this with some cute Jenny moments to show you how cute, sweet and adorable she is. And to Jenny, uh, freaking ad. Love you. Jenny, sweet and adorable moments because we love and support her. I hate Yego. <laughs> What? I love her fashion. Ew. <laughs> Bubble wrap. this video were so depressing and now we're just watching an adorable Jenny Kim oh man that's crazy <laughs> look at her fashion it's a little Pan. <laughs> Unicorns and rainbows. That's a perfect pancake. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Shish kebab. <laughs> she, she's so funny. so different with bangs. Is that Jisoo? Jisoo. I think it's Jisoo. She looks like Lisa here. Uh. That was really scary. That's it! And she was screaming like that. Jisoo could cry. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> it said their ages. One, twenty-two. Oh. He chill. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, I'm gonna subscribe to Juniverse because their intro and outro, you're talking Quasa, BTS, Red Velvet, Blackpink, they have great taste. So there you go. Love you, Juniverse. <sighs> Jenny does deserve better. All K pops all right, idols really deserve better. The fans should do better and realize that we're really all in this together. It doesn't matter if you stand one group or another, we should all love each other. Because at the end of the day, everything you say can make or break someone's day. I don't know why I'm rhyming in this outro. Yeah, so we just saw a video basically talking about all the conflicts and troubles that Jenny Kim has experienced since debuting under JY- not JYP, under YG in Blackpink. And I feel like she's been one of the like top artists to have the hardest transition from being a normal person to becoming an idol. Because she's received hate since the very beginning. For some reason, as Junie first explained in the video, when a guy is cold and comes gives the persona of don't don't talk to me, I'm too good for you, it's seen as hot and like sexy. But whenever a female idol does it, she's a bitch or she's cold and non-professional. It's like a double standard. Um, Jenny has really received hate from everyone, all from all fandoms for some reason. Not even just Jenny though, I feel like it's it's seen to be trendy and quirky to hate Blackpink, which is so lame. Just, I hate to quote Justin Bieber, like that's disgusting, but I'm about to. He said, you know you've made it when people are booing instead of cheering you. Blackpink has done nothing wrong to anyone. They're one of the top groups in the K-pop industry right now, and yet they get the most hate. I mean, I feel like Juniverse did a great job at summing up all the struggles that um, that Jenny has faced, or even Blackpink. I need to check out their channel and see if they've done um, videos like this for any of the other members. And I love how he or she decided to end the video showing the positive side of Jenny, showing her having fun and her members and her enjoying their their time with each other and the the schedules they have, their experience with the managers. It's not all bad, and I feel like that is the fact that keeps them going. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here, and don't forget to like the video, because my goal for this video is 500 likes. 500 likes. And head over to Instagram and DM me any other video requests or suggestions that you have, and I'll do them. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye! Yeah, 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 yeah! Rum-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa!